Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today I'm going to be showing you, um, actually we're starting off my custom solar system actually because um, I actually um, asked a question in yesterday's video about um, do you guys want me to show you how I made um, these custom planets here. So like my Sedna, my Planet 9 and also my Iris here and also um, I, c I can never pronounce this one, you guys know that. Ch Charlinka, I'm just going to call it that, I don't know. So yeah, we've got those four. So these are all custom made. I actually designed a different like formula, I guess, than... Why did I say four? I don't think that's relevant. But yeah, I, you, to get these planets, you can't randomly spawn them. You have to do it manually. So first of all, if I just try and spawn any random um, object here, like they're all like boring, dull colours. Because as you can see here, Iris is a very bright white. Sedna is red. Planet 9 is um, blue, very nice dark blue. And also, um, Charlinka, I can never, I can never say that. Yeah, they're all dull colours. Like, we never get any nice looking colours when we naturally spawn stuff in. So, some people may think, oh, is this, is this a random thing you get maybe in the Planet 9 simulation? Because if you didn't know, Planet 9 has its own simulation right here. But, sadly, um, wait, is this going to load? That doesn't, yeah, so sadly that doesn't work either. And also, is Sedna. These have to be spawned in naturally. So, this Planet 9 here, it's just a boring old colour. It's not even blue. And the reason how I, my, I got my Planet 9 blue... That is just random luck, like I just was spawning, or I just kept on reloading this simulation for like a few minutes until I got one I liked and it happened to be one that was completely all blue. So I was literally just doing this for ages. So yeah, that's how I got my custom colour Planet 9. So if you want to see that, it is right here. So there we go. Let's just put it here for now. Yeah, so here's my custom Planet 9. So it's literally just a nice dark blue or like, I guess, yeah, pale blue, like compared to Neptune or Uranus there. So it's quite a dark blue, I like it, I think it suits it quite well, and also, um, yeah, so that's that, and also, yeah, it's blue here, as you can see, but the way you do that, actually, so, if you didn't know, um, or if you don't have the game, you should know, or you should know that, um, stars, so let's get the sun, for instance, if we, um, launch it, and then we, um, speed up time a lot, come on, speed up, please, there we go, so as you can see, it has a yellowish sort of trail, and if we get, like, a star like Rigel, it should have a, um, Okay, that wasn't meant to happen. You didn't see that. <laughs> so let's get a star like Rigel, for instance. We shoot it that way. Let's speed up time a lot more. And because it's a blue star, that means its trail will be blue, as you can see like that. And that is exactly what my Planet 9 one is like. So if you can see what's going on here, it looks like only stars... Oh, excuse me. Had a bit of a clogged up flight there. So yeah, only stars have like cool looking coloured trails like this. So the way I did it was, so if I get my planet nine right here, or let's um yeah, let's do it with a default new planet. So let's just get a um yeah, a normal planet nine and just a random colour one. Now what I want to do here is obviously we can remember these stats here. So what we need to do is we want to make its mass say a hundred let's just do a hundred Jupiters, because that'll make it into a star. And now you can see it's an orange or a, a red dwarf, I'd say this is. So then if we um move it around oh yeah we need to zoom out a little more um is that gonna work well dang it that's not working um what if we just put a random satin here uh, damn it all right let's put another let's put it with a binary orbit of just say proxima centauri here let's put them there now as you can see it should have a red trail behind it so if we zoom out here um come on there we go so it has a red trail so we just made a planet um have a red trail and now the way we um the way we want to turn it back into a planet again, obviously, is we remove mass. Let's put it back to 10 masses of Earth, because that's what Planet 9 usually is. So let's put it to 10 Earths. We cool it down, and it's back to how it was before, pretty much the same mass and size. And as you can see, it still has its red colour. So that's how you do it. And then you want to um, save the object, and then there you go. You have it saved. So that's that. So if you want to get it in different colours, you make different colours of different types of stars. So um, I'll show you how to make blue, obviously. So if you want to make a blue one, it's pretty obvious. So you want to... Yeah, so you want to get um, yeah get another new planet, which is right here. So let's get another planet nine in. And obviously I have my one blue because planet nine is a blue planet in my or my custom planet nine is blue. So obviously I want to have it in blue. So let's just get it there again. Let's put it over here for now. So as you can see, yeah, this is a nice looking blue. And if we just speed it up, it will always have its blue trail and all of that good stuff. So yeah, there's its blue trail, and we do not want those guys colliding. Let's let's just zoom that out. So that's blue. But then when you um go back to a new planet again so let's do um 100 jupiters again like before but the problem is if we um make it a blue star like this it still has a red um trail so as you can see here it still has a red trail so the way you want to fix this is just save the simulation like this 
then reopen it um, as an or just reopen it in your save simulation so it should be right about here so you reopen it and as you can see the planet 9 now should have a blue trail so let's speed up time again and there you go blue trail so that's how I did it for my planet 9 so with default you can only get red trails but if you change the stars heat make it hotter so you can get like white stars and all that so if I want to make it a white star do about 7,000 degrees like that and then it'll be a white star so if I did it again let's quickly save it and then reopen it again so let's um, go here and now it will have a or it should have a white trail so let's hit play and let's do this and there you go yeah white trail so whatever color you make the start just save the simulation reopen it and then your planet will have that custom color so if I um, go back to my um, solar system here my custom one so if we go here we can see that um, Charlinko here this was once a orange or more of a yellowy sort of orange star because over there Sedna Sedna that is red that's a proper red star so yeah that's that then if you warm it up a little bit so let's say about probably about yeah a little colder than the Sun so um, yeah, probably around 3,000 4, 3, to 4,000 degrees, you'll get this orange colour. If you want the colour of the sun, so let's hit play. If you want the colour of the sun, do 5,000 degrees. As you can see, it's got that yellowy sort of like, white, yellowy white sort of look. Then also, if you want Sedna, you make the star, well, it's default. It always puts it as red when you make it. And then Planet 9, make it a blue star. So do it at about, just type in 10,000 degrees. That, that'll be sufficient. That'll make it blue. So if we... um. Let's just turn it into a star again. If we do that. So a, let's do a thousand Jupiters, okay. Um, and just do it to 10,000 like that. It'll make it a blue star, as we can see here. And then when you reload the simulation, it will be a blue trail. See, it's just reset to a orange trail here, because it was, or well, before I made it blue, it was obviously yellow. So yeah, that's that. So um, let's quickly um, just get all of the objects up for comparison. So yeah, let me do that. I'll be back in one sec once I've just got everything sorted. Okay, so I am now back and as you can see if you want to make um, let's just get straight into this Yeah, so if you want to make a planet have a red trail put it about the same temperature as Proxima Centauri here. So this stars about 3,300 degrees. So yeah, make your default star that color then save simulation reopen it and your object should be a nice red color like my Sedna is here Then if you want to get an object orange for some reason I can't get the trail But it, that that's what it looks like here. You can see the orange bit after Alpha Centauri be there It looks a little lighter than the than the red one does obviously it actually looks like Proxima is a little too warm actually maybe yeah so if you want to have a red star make it about 2000 degrees maybe just to yeah redo that bit so yeah if you want to have a star as more of an orange color do 3700 then obviously I don't have a color for the sun but if you want a trail which is the color of the sun which is this like color here this more whitey yellow color do it about 5700 now if you want a white sort of colored object um, a white trail like my iris is here do it about 7,000, 6,500 degrees. That'll give you a white, a more white trail. As you can see here, more sort of a bluey white trail. Then if you want your star to be completely blue like my Planet 9 is, put it up to some really high temperature. As you can see, I have this with this sun here. 50,000 degrees. Like put it, put it up to something like that and you'll have it. And the reason why this star isn't actually have a blue trail is because I haven't um, reopened the simulation yet. So if I just quickly do that for another example. So let's just quickly save it. And then reopen it again. This will now have a blue trail, as we can see right about there. So it should now have a blue trail. So if we go back over here, then we go on, um, or if we just hit play, or actually um, just do that, please. Yes, he said now it has a blue trail. That, yeah, that's, that's that. So hopefully you guys um, enjoyed this um, shorter than usual video. Oh, I think it's short. I, I don't really know the time, but yeah. If you um, have any questions on how to do this, um, just leave a comment down below and I'm sure to help you. So basically, just to go over it one more time. So so um, just make a planet larger in size. Let's just, yeah, just get another planet here. Just do um, examples. So we don't want um, anyone getting confused here. So all you do is make it um, 100 masses of Jupiter. So that will automatically ha make it a red um, object, as you can see here. It should, yeah, that will have a red trail. You can see it when you um, select over the object, it has like a red glow around it. So yeah, the default color is red. And then increase it to any of these temperatures here. So 3,000, 3,700, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, or 8,000 there. And then just like 50,000. 
to get the different colors and then just save the simulation reopen it and then your custom object should have a um, custom color so let's put this one at 7000 again I feel like I've done this so many times but might as well show you guys everything so let's just save again and reopen and now this will have a white like white color theme so let's zoom in on it so where are we All right, over here let's zoom in and as you can see um, is that yeah so this will now have a white trail so if I hit play then have a spin around you see that has a white trail and it will supernova well yeah that's that but if you want to get it again you see this has a white trail now so all you need to do is change the temperature of the star you just made turn it and well, make yeah change the color of the star reload the simulation and then turn it back to a planet so let's make it one jupiter and then it will cool down and it still has its white trail even though it's a planet and then all you want to do is save the object and then there you go that that's that so yeah hopefully you guys um enjoyed this and obviously learned something with it. and yeah and also a quick update on the channel we went up i think it was eight subs in in the last 12 hours or 24 hours now since i uploaded the video about 24 hours ago but yeah we've gone up so many subs so we are on target for our goal of 300 subs before the end of the month so many thank you to everyone who has subbed recently it's much appreciated and hopefully we can continue into the thousands eventually because yeah that'd be cool hopefully we got a long journey ahead of us here so yeah many thanks um to everyone who um watches likes and comments and yeah let's send this off now so if you have any ideas for another video or just um, or got any questions about how you, to do this um, or change the colors of these objects just leave a comment down below and yeah I'll, I'll help you out ASAP so yeah that's that so um yeah I think that's everything so I'll see you in the next video goodbye